Uh, my name is Tarek Fadli. I am a tech entrepreneur. Uh, I've been working in the tech industry in Morocco for the last 15 years. Um, and uh, we've been working on a lot of projects with the government. So this uh, initiative uh, comes as evidence that Morocco is accelerating its digital development. Um, there is a lot of uh, projects that are being done on the legal side of, of the digital uh, industry and on the technology side, on the education side as well. So um, we are seeing today that uh, not only we're addressing the legal aspects, but we're moving very quickly. Recently this week, we'll see a big event that, that took place, which is the signature of a convention between the Central Bank of Morocco, Bank al Maghrib, DGSN, which is the uh, um, uh, La Sûreté Nationale, Moroccan Police, and CNDP um, to protect the identity of citizens and also to put a mechanism online that allows companies to authenticate citizens. This is a huge step uh, that will uh, help Morocco provide uh, public and private services online. And in this aspect, um, one of the companies that I manage, La Marocaine de E-Service, is seeking to do, uh, or it's already doing a public-private partnership with the government to provide the most used services. So when it comes to innovation, we're trying to do things the Moroccan way and innovate for our context. For instance, Signature Notary, we have over 2,000 what we call Mokata, where people have to go notarize their signature, legalization, copy conform. So, and even Muqaddam, who, who gives uh, certain documents. So we created an app for it called Uraqi. So you can check it in uraqi.ma. Uh, and this app allows citizens to register, use the new mechanism put in place by the Moroccan police, by DGSN, to authenticate themselves and create an account. Once it's done, they no longer need to go to Muqata. They can sign a paper, take a photo of it, and send it to Muqata, and Muqata will, will uh, notarize it legally and send it back to them. So this is just an example of one of the initiatives. We're also doing it with the Moroccan customs for Moroccans who live abroad. Once they come uh, to Tanjimet, to the port, they no longer have to waste their time with uh, a customs officer to register the vehicle and waste the customs officer's time who needs to be focused on doing his job, not on registering vehicles. So the app allows them to take a photo of their car registration, take a photo of their passport, and then we can connect to the customs system and check. And once they're in the Moroccan border, there is a camera that reads the plates of the car and opens the door. So all of these initiatives are coming hand to hand. And um, I think today the, the, the environment is very prosperous uh, for, for digitizing and for accelerating the digital transformation of the country. You know, when, when you innovate, um, this is not a particularity of Morocco. When you innovate all over the world, there is resistance to change. Um, and especially the industries that we're talking in, when we talk about Muqata, I mean, you can imagine uh, the, the resistance that we're facing. But the good news is that the, 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 the decision makers, uh, whether uh, elected people or directors, they want this. So we are really seeing a lot of support from uh, ministries, from elected people to deploy this. So resistance to change is human. It's natural. But we're also noticing that the people who resist, this is an aging population that's just scared of technology. So change management, what was discussed earlier, is, is also a key to the success of these projects.